Hey there, today we're going to look at how we might use the pens in the app version of OneNote. All right, let's have a look. Now for these pens today, I am going, I've got my stylus here and I've got my, my iPad down here ready to go. These will also work by using your finger to draw on the, the screen. Okay, but I am going to use my pen today. So where we have navigated here is to the draw ribbon and we are focused along at these pens here along the top. So let's just talk about them really quickly. So here, we have the eraser, okay? So it's going to remove whatever you've done. It's not in, um, this isn't an art application. So for art teachers, if you're looking for something that will gently erase something or smudge something, this is not for you. It's literally only a hard erase. We've got our pens which go along the bottom here, okay? And we're gonna look at this, this adding feature and what then you have things like highlighters and those options. So let's first of all have a look at a pen. So I'm just going to tap on a pen with the screen and you can see quite simply if I just move along the screen, it will draw and it is quite good. My other option here though, if I'm just gonna focus here on the screen is this little drop down menu. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on that and it's going to open up my options here. Now this guy here is going to show you the thickness of the pen, okay? And you've got a little indicator above it to show you. So super thin, so if I show you the extremes, so this is super thin, dropping down, and then this is the extreme, so super thick, okay? There's no kind of, um, uh, I'm just trying to think some of the um, art ones I've used before, kind of, you know, if you hold and press down slightly on the screen, it kind of, like the ink runs, there's none of that. It's very, very intuitive. It is, in my opinion, being started to be more heavily designed towards um, handwriting and note taking, obviously being called OneNote, then it more is designed around the art tools. You might've noticed along the top here that there are different color pens and how we change those is by tapping back down on that little arrow and they will always give you these ink options here. Now you do have some funky ones that come in the app version. So like, you know, the galaxy pen. So when I draw this, it will kind of draw out, it actually draws out an image of the galaxy if I keep going like that. But if I was just to write like this, it kind of just intuitively picks what is behind the image at that point in time. If I drop back down, just have a look at here at more colors. Okay, is I can click here for more colors and we've got a fairly, you know, we've got that standard array of colors and that which I can choose how light or dark I want them to be. You can't put in like an RGB code or a CMY, CYMK code, I think that's right. Um, you can't put any of those in unfortunately, but you can try to get as close as you possibly can when using it. When you create a color like that, it will remember your recent ones, as you can see there down the bottom. Now, the little plus arrow, so at the top here, I'll just indicate it for us. So here, we've got our little plus arrow. If I tap on that, it's going to ask me whether I want a pen or a highlighter. So in this case, I'm gonna pick highlighter, okay? And then here, my options come up for my highlighter. So again, you can go super thin with your highlighting. So, you know, if I want to highlight some text or some of the work that the student's done, or you can go super bold if you're a heavy highlighter, it just changes that thickness of what it is that you're highlighting. You can pick colors here. The funky galaxy ones don't really apply because they're not really, they need to be opaque or kind of pastel -y. We can kind of see that the colors here are a bit more pastel. It really depends how hardcore you are with your pen, with your highlighting, like, you know, I, I know some teachers that will highlight some things in green and then they'll come and add another one and some things in red. And so if I'm if I'm moving along, if I'm moving along a page and providing feedback, you know, pink means something else and green means something and red means something. So those options are totally up to you. Now, what you will start to notice is along the top here is that there are quite a lot of pens building up 
And so if it becomes too many, all we do is we tap down and right down the bottom. I don't think you can't quite see it, unfortunately. It's really annoying. Um, oh, there we go. If I drag it up like that, you can see that there says delete. So I'm just going to release that, hit delete. And we can see that that red highlighter now has disappeared. Okay, but you can always at any time just tap that plus arrow and add them back in. The last thing I want to put through with pens is that if you are starting to look at using the stylus for writing, okay, is that you might want to look at this option of where if we go to, oops, sorry, view, is that we have this thing here called paper styles. So when we tap on paper styles, I can pull up things like drawn lines. So these are the widest ones. So if I just go down to a clean area, so then when I come here to draw and let's, I'm going to write in black ink, probably about this one, you know, and then I might start writing on the page that will give them lines to write on. I used to get my students to do this for mathematics and we definitely use lines just mainly because it was easier for me. Their work kind of didn't start to kind of skew off in a particular tangent or direction. <laughs> All right, guys, um, I hope that you've learned something about using the pens. Enjoy using them. As I said, you can still use them with your finger. If you're doing things like highlighting or circling, um, not particularly great for handwriting uh, with the fingers, but see how you go and we'll see you again soon. Cheers. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date, don't forget to follow us. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment section. Cheers.